I'm once again using the tiny cube as a vlogging camera and we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm about to go to the barn. I'm not going to ride. It's like really hot. Yesterday I was like feeling a little heat stroke a little bit and I nearly puked so I'm not going to be riding. Um, also, it's the Olympic opening ceremony tonight so I definitely want to watch that. And um, I do have to go to Dover and pick some stuff up so we'll go to Dover. But first, a dog. What are you doing? Are you having a nice time on the couch alone? Ugh, it's just disgusting out here, you guys. It's like, this, I, it's like the sun is gripping me from all directions and trying to kill me. No, I'm definitely not riding because I left all my helmets in the house. That's cool. That's cool. That's fine. Oh, it's so hot in here. So here's a little mini tack haul. Um, I got the Chronicle, even though you can get most of the stuff online. It's only $5, and it's the Olympic preview, and I love the Olympics. That's just one of the little, my little special interests, and I thought it would be nice to have this, just as like a thing to keep. Normally, I don't like clutter and stuff. If I can read it online then, or on my tablet, then, then I will, even for like books and stuff, but the Olympic one. And then Titan needs a new one of his favorite Himalayan licks. And these are like $2 more at Dover, but it's just a convenience factor. Like, it, it's out of the way for me. Cube just died, so the cube just died, so we're going on my phone now, which may or may not have uh, memory. So Himalayan salt lick. And then I got some new gloves. These are slightly small. I'm actually a size 9. I have massive hands, like large like even for a man except for I'm not really a man um come on why are you doing this to me so these are like they've got a little bit more than the cool fit which are like my favorite um because I keep getting blisters because I can't hold on to the reins at the right point they slip up those were 25 dollars that's all that was in that bag Mary, the manager, who knows me by name because I go to Dover so often, usually doesn't give me a bag because I usually don't ask for one, ask for not to have one. But anyway, um, these quick wipe things, or else I never clean my boots or my tack or anything. Um, hoof flex because we like to crack our hooves. I'll show you. They're in really bad shape right now. And they were trimmed two weeks ago, and they're still... I know there's like one more thing in here. Okay. Um, leather cream. Because I got my saddle on consignment and it had been sitting on the shelf for like years. And it's like squeaky and I keep trying to soften it up. And nothing that I have really seems to work completely. So I keep trying different products. I, I know I have to do it more often. I probably clean it like twice a week. Dude, you want this? the feet. Really bad. Gross. Why are you doing that? You're really messy. See that? That's really gross. So I'm gonna try and fix it. Now I have to let it soak. I'm gonna have to rinse this thing really a lot before I give it to my horse. If anyone else has the same problem, let me know how you get around it. I'm gonna try and clean up my saddle now. And my bridle, it gets so gross so quickly because of sweat. 
I'm attempting to like kind of clean this mess up. Oh, by the way, so when I fell off, I missed a stirrup. So we didn't know where the stirrup was and I bought new ones and I bought the exact same stirrups as before because I like them so much. And then we, about a week after that, we find, the barn owner finds the stirrup like stuck by the round pen. We have a couple of small round pens to turn out the horses that are like basically on stall rest. And so it like got caught all the way up there under the willow tree. And it's all rusty from being out for a couple weeks in a couple storms. So at least the stirrups are fine. And this saddle pad I got at the tack sale. It's like the Roma cross country pad. And I really like it and it looks really nice on my horse. It's like really contoured and it has the high weathers and the like um, reinforced part here. But I only wore it one time and that's when I fell off in the woods. So I... Really bad today. Die. Oh my god, they're all over today. Well, I gotta get home so I can watch the Olympics, but uh, that's all I really did today at the barn. I always thought I sh would show you this thing I got last week and because it's kind of like a tech haul today. Um, it's just one of those like competition backpacks and one of my local saddle shops. It's kind of a little out of the way, but um, had it for half off. So it's normally $60 and I got it for like 20 or about 30 it's just a carrots backpack and like you can put your helmet in there and then it unzips. Oh, and um, my barn owner, I was like, she's like, you're not riding? I was like, no, I gotta go home and watch the Olympics. She's like, oh, that's today? I got an appointment. I gotta, go, I gotta go cancel my appointment so I can watch the Olympics. So um, if you guys are interested in the schedule for the Olympics, I'll put a link to where your uh, Chronicle of the Horse has a list of what's airing uh, when and which stations. So you can watch along and look for your favorite riders and horses. That's all for today, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.